Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the VCCORLIB 140.dll is either not designed to run on Windows or contains an error, followed by error code 0xC000012F. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but for today's tutorial, we're going to open up Chrome. And into Chrome, you want to just type in Visual C++ Redistributable 2015 to 2019, and just search for it. You're probably going to get a link back that says the latest supported Visual C++ downloads. Go ahead and open that up. I will have a link to this page in the description of the video as well. And from here, you want to go ahead and select the correct version of Visual Studio, whether it's 32 or 64 bit computer. Most of you guys are probably going to be using the Time 64 bit download, but a few of you guys might be using the 32 bit, such as in my case, if you're running older hardware or perhaps a virtualized environment. But again, pretty straightforward process here, guys. You want to go ahead and just select the one that's applicable for your computer. And then once you're done with that, again, like I said, you guys are probably going to be mostly using the 64-bit one. And go ahead and open that up once it's done downloading. Select Run. You want to agree to the license terms and conditions and select Install. Select Yes if you receive the user account control prompt. And then once that's done, you must restart your computer before you can use the software. So save and close out of any open programs or applications you still have open on your screen. And then select the Restart button. And there you go guys, should be as simple as that. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.